Today I'm going to show you some exercises you can do with the jump rope to get your cardiovascular in shape. So, and also increase muscle mass, strength, and agility. We're going to start with the jump rope. You can begin to work the waist by taking the jump rope in your hands and going right to left side. Notice that I'm shifting my weight right to left. This way I am using not only my hips and my legs and my arms, but I'm also working my waist. You don't have to know how to jump rope to be able to do this. Separate your hands and now begin to shift side to side. Here we go, we've got the rhythm now, shifting right to left, just like you're dancing. When you are able to, you can add a little hop to it. This way, you will increase your um, cardiovascular pump and strengthen your heart. Now, if you're an advanced person, we're gonna begin to jump. Are you ready? In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. I only did. Ooh, I already started sweating here. Um, I, re I only did thirty because three is my favorite number. So three, thirty, three hundred, three thousand. <laughs> Hey, I used to teach a Saturday morning class and we used to do 3,000 jumps continuous. Can you imagine? All right, now, doing jump rope sometimes promotes the desire to go pee. And I wanna show you why could possibly that might be the problem. Hold on there, I'm gonna get you a little model. All right, this is the model of the pelvis. Obviously, the females have a different section to it, which is your uterus and ovaries. Males do not have that. We know that, right? So let's put that away. Now, everybody, even males, have a bladder. The bladder fits right inside the pelvis, right here. So when the bladder gets distended, it begins to put pressure for the male on the prostate, so that might cause a few problems with the prostate, but for the female, it begins to put pressure on the urethra. Why will that be a problem? Well, then it, you have the desire to go pee. And it's not just the filling of the bladder that's the problem. There could be a couple things going on. One could be the laxity of the muscles inside the pelvic floor. These are called the pelvic floor muscles. You can strengthen those pelvic floor muscles by doing Kegel exercises. And as you know, I have a system on Kegel exercises, a weight system. You can get a three, a five, or a 10 set weight that you can utilize to strengthen and guide you through kinetic motion to be able to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. So laxity. Now, the next problem could be that maybe the bladder that looks like this, um, right there, has formed what's called biofilms on the walls here. What are biofilms? Biofilms are, if you can imagine, have you ever had a cold where you had mucus and then the mucus dries and becomes like crusty? That's what biofilms are. When the bladder wall, the inside part of the wall, has biofilms, it irritates the bladder and causes you to have an urgency to go pee. The other thing is, it could be that the actual pee inside the bladder is acidic, and that could be promoted through uh, eating sweets or uh, foods that create a lot of acid, and um, so you want to drink a lot of water, antibiotics, medications give you acidity and all that. Now, I want to show you on my next uh, video the two things, like the Kegel weights, what you can use to um, strengthen your pelvic floor, and also what you can use to measure the acidity of your urine. 
we'll get that on the next film. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.